I think we can all agree that the size of modern graphics cards has gotten a little bit out of control. It's not uncommon for the graphics card to be the deciding factor in how big your computer case needs to be. So that got me thinking, what if instead of putting a graphics card into a computer, I'd rather put a computer into a graphics card? Well at least into a graphics card enclosure. I kind of forgot about this idea for a few months, and then the other day when I was browsing principles, I found this cool money box. It's designed to look like an RTX 3080. It's obviously partially hollow, so that's perfect to put a small single board computer into. I downloaded the model files and then imported them into Tinkercad to make the modifications required to fit a Raspberry Pi into it. The money box model is scaled down from a full size 3080, so you need to scale it up to 142% to be size for size. This exceeds my print bed size by a few millimeters, so I scaled it up to 130%. I oriented the Raspberry Pi in the back end of the 3080 so that the HDMI ports are in the same general area as the original display ports. We also have a power input here, which unlike the 3080 can run on a USB-C power adapter rather than requiring a small power station. The USB and Ethernet ports then extend out the side of the GPU, which I actually think looks pretty cool. I added some supports and holes to accommodate some brass inserts into the base to mount the Raspberry Pi onto. And lastly we need to think about cooling. I initially wanted to use an actual fan in place of one of the 3D printed fan covers, but the fan's on the Pi side of the card underneath the Pi, which means that the GPU would need to be lifted off the desk to get airflow to it, and it also gets in the way of mounting the Pi. So I decided to instead mount a more appropriately sized 30mm fan onto the inside of the housing and have it draw air in through the fin stack on the side. This required a fan cutout to be added to the side and a few cutaways to the surrounding heatsink parts to make room for it. With that done, we've got the 3D model complete and ready for printing. I also noticed that another user had made fans for the 3080 money box that were a bit more accurate to the original design. So I decided to go with this fan design for the top fan. The bottom one I left as original, as it was better suited to holding the supports that were needed for the brass inserts to mount the power into. I then printed out the components using grey for the main body and black for the heat sinks, fans and backplate. I coloured the text in white so that it stands out better and looks a bit more like the original card. Now we can move on to assembling and installing the Pi into it. First we need to add some M2.5 brass inserts into the bottom fan piece. We just melt these into place using a soldering iron. Next we can add some M2.5 by 4mm brass standoffs to mount the power onto. I didn't have 4mm ones, so I cut the top off some 6mm ones to shorten them. I'm not going to mount the power onto the standoffs until we've partially assembled the card, so let's snap the components into place. We can push the bottom fan and heatsink pieces into place first. Then add the back plate, and finally add the top fan plate. Before we add the side heat sinks, we need to mount the fan. This is just held in place with four M3 button head screws and is oriented to pull air into the enclosure. Now we can mount the power into the brass standoffs and secure it with some M2.5 screws. Then plug the fan into 5 volts and ground. And lastly, having forgotten about the micro SD card, we can remove the Pi again, then add our card with the OS image, and then put it back in and close up the top cover plate. Then we just need to snap the side heat sinks into place.
And that's my GPU computer complete. Now let's plug it in and try it out. So my graphics card is booted up and I now have a fully functional graphics card computer. I'm running Ubuntu on the Pi. This does seem to be a bit more resource intensive than Raspberry Pi OS, but it still runs reasonably well. I've also overclocked the Pi to 2 GHz. My graphics card computer actually has a lot of benefits. It's still able to output 4K and it does so using just 3 to 5 watts, which is almost 100 times less than a real 3080 would. As you can see, I can even run it from a power bank. It also takes up a fraction of the desk space that a full-size desktop computer would. It's also got no motherboard to fall out of during shipping or transport. And lastly, I can still game on it. Although granted, the gaming quality and frame rate is quite a bit lower than what you'd get from a 3080. Let me know what you think of my improved RTX 3080 gaming graphics card in the comment section below. And let me know if you've got any suggestions on how I can further improve on it. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech in electronics, projects, tutorials and reviews.